And this is our biggest store in the world by far. It is a bookshop. Uh, of course, it is a space which sells all of the monocle products. And we really want to be best in class when it comes to print. Airports are incredibly important to us, but we haven't seen the, the innovation. We haven't seen a new design philosophy. It was important for us to do something in Hong Kong, um, any airport, in fact, to, to really raise the game. Hong Kong is a big, resilient city. I've been through SARS here. Of course, we've had the other round of protests. This is a city which, which always bounces back. I'm not convinced it's quite the global trend uh, or the global sector that it's been pumped up as. Uh, working a lot in, in the heart of Europe, you don't hear young Germans, um, young Swiss talking about themselves as millennials. Maybe in the US, maybe in the UK, maybe in Australia, the millennial might exist as a sector, as a phenomenon, but I'm not sure it has quite the global polar clout uh, that sometimes the media makes out. I think more than ever what's key today is a combination of, of being book smart, but I think also you have to be street smart as well. So we're always looking for someone who's done practical experience, someone who wants to get out there. I'm wondering if we're getting to the point that maybe when you buy a phone in the future, there's a warning label, just like there is on a pack of cigarettes, about, of course, the addictive qualities of the phone, um, but also you could be in personal danger of conflict on the street for misbehaving on your device.